What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to New Rock TV. And life is good. Um, already made a purchase at the National. <laughs> got all-time great Hall of Fame rookie card. I've got a couple autos coming my way. So I won't divulge too much information on that. But uh, as soon as I get to the house, it is a member of the house that I'm saying that. Um, but yeah, I'll capture that deal on video. But uh, I'm super stoked. So I already spent a chunk of money already. I'm what, we're four months out? Yeah, four months out, I guess. So that's fun. So my national is off to a great start. <laughs> um, this is the day after the Tampa Bay card show. And I'll show you my haul. I didn't spend too much money because my birthday's coming up next month. And uh, it was a small card show, I think 80 tables. And uh, there was probably four heavy hitters when it came to vintage and, you know, high end cards. And uh, they have all the leverage. Like if you want to buy a card at that show, you have to go to, it's like the, the head, uh, the four families of the card <laughs> of the card show like nothing gets done it's hard to negotiate with somebody who knows they have the best card so they have the highest prices and you can't really bounce one off the other so i was just you know i, I pretty much just talked to the dealers talk shop talk cards talk baseball hung out with john george concrete buddy was there um and before you knew it the show, not the show was almost done, but we had to go meet the wives, you know. Um, the wives came. Luckily for John and I, our wives get along. And they went to the mall while we went to the card show. <laughs> but they wanted to eat. And uh, I, I looked down at my uh, my go bag. And I had like, I think I spent 20 bucks at that time. Like, come on, I need to buy some cards. So I found one more table. Okay, had decent value boxes. Um talking to him and I was like, you know what? I wasted enough of your time talking to you. Let me start looking through some of your boxes. And he had a couple uh, SP Clementes. Um, so I was super excited about that. So I'll show you those in a minute. And uh, yeah, I mean, when it, I don't rip like I used to, you know, especially after COVID, the scarcity of finding retail, which is fun to say the scarcity of retail um, it's coming back in bunches now because of the overproduction, but, you know, I just wasn't ripping the stuff. It wasn't, the money wasn't worth it to me for that entertainment. Because I know part of the prices in retail is the entertainment value. To me, it wasn't worth it because I don't want to spend, even if it's 20 bucks, if I'm getting trash, it's not exciting for me. So, I got a whole bunch of newer stuff, you know, so I got one vintage card. And uh, it was actually a gift from Mangini because <laughs> the card was in too great condition. And uh, I was like, I can't leave this behind. And uh, he wanted to pay me back because I bought him some uh, some cards from another dealer. I'm sure he'll show that on his channel. But uh, yeah, let me show you what I got. Had a lot of fun, John. Oh, his wife and his daughter made these Swifty bracelets. <laughs> it's a misfit bracelet. Lou Rock? with the misfits so and they actually made one for my wife and for bob so we're all bracelet <laughs> bracelet gang bracelet gang but um oh and of course i went through the whole you know cardboard therapy getting all the cards out of these crappy top loaders yellow top loaders and putting them in you know card saver ones if they're worthy enough and brand new top loaders sleeves most of these are going in the album so yeah, let me turn that camera around. So John right now is at a Pirates game. They're probably losing to the Yankees. Um, but yeah, I'll meet up with him later on tonight. Um, we're going out on a little double date. Me and my wife with him and his wife at Burn Steakhouse. If you guys are from Tampa, you already know what it is. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. Um, good food, good wine, good friends. So. Um, yeah, let me just show you this stack of cards I got. All right, so I picked this up. This was a throw-in. 
Um, I try to add a little value after we negotiate a price. I'm like, throw this card in and we'll have a deal. <laughs> I never sent him a, a mini of this. I don't think it's very valuable, but it's Acuna and Albies. And I never seen it before. Now, when it comes to v collecting vintage guys, like everyone knows Clemente is my number one PC. I already have the base run. You know, I just need some oddball stuff. But this is a new way you could collect. This is a 2013, I'm pretty sure. I have this card, but not in the like rainbow foil action. Pretty sure. I might have it, but it's a beautiful card. Here's a newer um, set, Big League. This is 2023, I believe. It's their newer one. I thought the graffiti was pretty dope. Had to get that. Reminds me of uh, New York. New York with that graffiti. And again, I haven't been ripping a lot of the new stuff. So, you know, a lot of these judges I don't have. Got this Bowman Bess with Mendoza if I find a refractor, but love me refractors. But I don't have it. It was like a dollar. No Bowman Chrome action. Bowman Platinum. He's so beautiful. Love the Titans. You know, people don't like it because of the licensing issue, but Titan, Obsidian. Oh, love that stuff. It's just a beautiful card. This is super shiny. Aaron Judge Mosaic. <clears throat> and here's a rookie card. I wasn't sure if I had it. Um, I think I got this for 10 bucks with the bulk deal. So I brought down the price. But I didn't have it. The card looked pretty clean. I was happy to have it. Tops Heritage. Shout out to my boy Hitman23. Got this 86. Love 86. But I got the LPG. Never had it before. Now, you guys know I love Blatty Sr. So I saw this in a value box. Got this for two bucks after a um, little bulk deal action. I think it's 09. Yep, 09. Just a little napkin swatch, but for two bucks, I'll take that all day. He had like a $12 price tag which I thought was already a steal of a deal but I'm talking down at 8 I mean Hall of Fame Jumbo Relic come on bruh come on bruh Five fifty. just a sick car 2013 museum collection I'll take it Hall of Fame Relics for the win here's some more of the newer stuff a little judgy Bowman Chrome, you know, I like Tampa. That's my PC mistress. Got a little gold cup of Randy with a little prism shine, little snakeskin shine. Pretty sure I have this in the base. So to have that in the Chrome, I don't care who you are. Everyone PCs trout. So I have a whole box of trout. And you know, I'm pretty sure I have these, but you can never have too many trouts. And at the end of the day, they came out, you know, with the bulk deal, a dollar or less. So I don't have too many Bobby Witts. Pick that up. Brett Batty. Had to pick him up. I don't think I have any rookie cards of his. I picked up. Nice little Yankee rookie card of Oswaldo Cabrera. Thought that was pretty dope. This is the uh, MLB logo refractor. Got that for a dollar, man. Take that all day. And now the bigger cards. <laughs> I'll pick these up, man. This is a 2012 Tops. One of my favorite sets. Because, you know, it reminds me of my childhood. It's the little 87 joint. That is from 2012. Beautiful picture. 
batting cages. Shout out to the man of a thousand PCs, Hitman 23. Beautiful card. And then this one's from 2013. Another mini, never seen them before. Another beautiful card for one of my favorite sets all time, 71. This is dope, man. And then uh, here are these SPs, man. This is a uh, 2012, pretty sure. Memory is lacking. 2012, 2017. Super sick. 2017, man. I love that angle. I love all of it. Everything about it. This is a little 2018 action. And I got these in the ridges because I like them in albums. And I have a Clementa album that uh, I put my SPs, my vintage, like my doubles of my vintage Clementes, or if I just run out of room in my case, I put them in my album. I enjoy it more out of the album than I do in a box. It's easier to go through, especially when I'm watching baseball and I just pick up a my card album. <laughs> I just start thumbing through it. Now here's the card that my boy Man Genie gifted me. This was in a value box, man. I think it was like five bucks. Future Hall of Famer, Dick Allen. That's a dope card, man. It's crazy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's not as centered as Dylan would like, but I love it. <laughs> All right, let me turn this camera around. Look at this, man. Look at that. Boom. What you know about that? I'm just doing this for the thumbnail, y'all. Let's go. That's it. That's my haul. Nothing too crazy. I think I spent like 50 bucks. Um, but like I said, I already spent... I spent a good chunk already for the National. Talking to other dealers who are planning for the National... I put my orders in with them. <laughs> so hopefully I can find them at the National because uh, they're going to have some fire there. Um, but as far as travel, I had to cancel my flight. Um, I hate connecting flights and all the flights uh, went from one way to connecting flights. So I'll figure something out. There's some stuff in the works. Um, so stay tuned. <laughs> but with that, peace out. Go Yankees.